Pancreatic cancer is often viewed as a death sentence, primarily because the majority of patients are diagnosed with late stage disease when surgery is not possible. But if you can detect it early in stage two or even stage one, the five year survival rate improves drastically. Here to share how to better the odds and much more are doctors Jeffrey Burns, a board certified family physician based in Wellesley, Massachusetts, and Thomas King, MD, PhD, medical director at Immunovia, plus Cindy Callahan, a nurse and Immunovia's senior marketing director. She has firsthand experience testing for this disease. Welcome to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for being here. Doctors, let me ask you both a question here. I was reading that pancreatic cancer is on track to be the second leading cause of cancer death by 2026, according to JAMA, surpassing colon cancer. Now, now that I read that, given that it's a low incidence cancer, uh, it's still sobering to hear those statistics, correct, Dr. King? It is. More than 60,000 people will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in the U.S. this year, and most of those will die within a year or two. So it's, it's a terrible disease. And therapy for it really hasn't improved much. That's why colon, it's going to surpass colon cancer, which can be more adequately treated. Dr. Burns? Colon cancer has adequate screening these days with people over 50, so we're finding that and curing it at times during colonoscopy. So what's left is, again, these numbers to rise with pancreatic cancer. And with pancreatic cancer, there is no early detection as of yet. And for many patients, correct me if I'm wrong, when they go to the doctor, they're feeling good, they look good. Uh, there's really no visible signs, if you will, and then sometimes it's a little too late, Dr. King? Yeah, usually when signs and symptoms develop, it is too late. People have really advanced disease and they're not candidates for surgery. And that really is the, the only way to really extend life at this point. Dr. Burns, you use this test within your practice. Can you talk to me a little bit about what you've seen and how your patients respond and what, what the awareness has done for them to know about it? Yes, for sure. A new test, you know, patients are often unaware that something does exist like this. And, you know, in, when we're doing ordinary genogram assessments or asking about family history during visits, you know, people will say, yes, you know, someone in my family's had pancreatic cancer and they died when they're 60s and you're writing it in the chart and, that's it, you That's move it. on. There's really been nothing in the past to really do. And you know, clearly you're looking at the person and they're not jaundiced or not ill. And they look perfectly and, fine. Right, and so you say, okay, well, hopefully when that ever comes to pass, we'll do something with it. But there's been really no advanced you know, look at that um, high-risk person. So obviously not everybody, but high-risk person now, I will counsel and say, well, there is something we can do now where we, let's look do this blood test and it's, it's quite simple to order uh, for the clinicians in, the, in a primary care practice. Cindy, before we talk about a new screening tool, I know you have a personal story. Can you share that with us? Sure, so um, unfortunately my mother was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. She was 64, working full time, walking four, mi four miles a day. Doing great. Doing great, loving her grandchildren, um, doing everything she could with, with her family. Uh, and one night she developed heartburn. Um, and so she went to the emergency room thinking she was having a heart attack and it ended up being pancreatic cancer. Um, so despite going to the best hospitals in Boston and chemotherapy and radiation and surgery, she survived only 18 months. At that point in time, I, I really decided to dedicate my personal and professional life um, to pancreatic cancer. So professionally, um, you know, I am the senior marketing director at Immunovia and helping to create awareness um, throughout the pancreatic cancer community about our new test. That's fantastic. And Dr. King, I know it's become your mission to create awareness as well because you too lost a loved one. Could you share your story? My mother passed away from pancreatic cancer some years ago and she presented more typically with jaundice. Um, and her disease was too advanced to think about surgery at that point. She had a good response to radiation. She lived just over a year, but some of that time was actually good time. So I think she did better than most people diagnosed with late stage pancreatic cancer. So now let's talk about uh, those who are at risk like Cindy and so many people that are watching. Um, talk about just um, surveillance and how we can help this population. Some people are en enrolled in surveillance programs where they undergo imaging or endoscopic ultrasound exams. And that's cumbersome and difficult for many people because they have to travel to medical centers mm. for it. At Immunovia, we've really developed a blood test that can detect early pancreatic cancer. 
and we think that that'll be a game changer going forward. All right, and this blood test, is it one that Cindy or someone else would do it once a year, twice a year? How does it work? Well, most surveillance programs now image people once a year, so that probably would be a good place to start. Some of the docs we've talked to at different medical centers consider doing our test at six-month intervals off from imaging. Dr. Burns, you actually do this test in your office. Tell me what you've seen and why it's uh, what I think is sounding like a game changer here. I do think that this is a tremendous opportunity for our patients that come into the office uh, to really offer them an, uh, hope for a, a different outcome than perhaps what they witnessed with their own family. And for our patients that have high risk because of a blood uh, first degree blood relative or other genetic uh, mutations that they carry, this may be able to save their life. Dr. King, let's talk about a new screening tool that really sounds promising for patients. Well, at our laboratory, Immunovia Inc. in Massachusetts, we've developed MRA PanCan-D, which is a blood test for the early detection of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. What we've done is to combine the results of eight serum biomarkers with CA199, combine those mathematically to derive a signature that predicts whether or not an individual has pancreatic cancer or not. In the past, single biomarkers were attempted to detect pancreatic cancer early, but they were never sufficient. So combining these nine biomarkers together has given us a much more reliable and robust signature to detect pancreatic cancer early. Cindy, I believe you did the test at Dr. Burns' office, so tell me how the experience was, sure. how you felt, and knowing that you probably had a tool that could save your life. For me, it was really, I'm in a surveillance program because uh, I also have a cyst on my pancreas, but this test provided me the peace of mind that I needed um, for you know, day to day, if you will, you know, because you always have that thing in the back of your mind saying, well, you know, is there something there that you need to be monitoring? So for me, and I think for many others who have had our test, it is about peace of mind um, for sure. And you do it once a year or do you do it, as Dr. King said, every six months? So I've actually done it twice, so in six month intervals and um, so far, so good. Not easy to do? Very easy to do, it's a simple blood draw. Okay. Um, and, and it was it, and then I got my results from Dr. Burns. And they were? They were both negative, luckily. <laughs> Great to hear, yes. I love that. Uh, Dr. King, ag again, great technology, something that really I think could save lives because we've talked about it. Uh, you don't see the symptoms, you don't really feel them, and then sometimes when you do, it's too late. Your final thoughts on this? Well, we, we do think that this test is gonna be a game changer, and the ability to relieve the stress and worry individuals have who are at risk for pancreatic cancer, I think is very important. Most of the test results we're gonna give out are gonna be negative. And I think that can be very reassuring to people. But we feel we also can detect cancers early and really change the lives of people who do develop pancreatic cancer. Oh, that's great news. Dr. Burns, final thoughts? Uh, the company really works hard at getting the ease of testing uh, for both the clinician to order it, to make that uh, process easy. Plus, they have an opportunity for phlebotomists to actually come to the patient's home to draw their blood. <gasps> so it's, there's no reasons not to have it. Wow, done that's easily. fantastic. Cindy, you're my superstar. Final thoughts for anyone watching? So as a nurse, I've always been an advocate for patients. And I would say, you know, in this particular case regarding pancreatic cancer, patients need to, adv need to advocate for their own health. Um, if you have a family history of pancreatic cancer, tell your doctor, make sure they understand, bring up genetic testing, um, and that could also play a role in, in assessing risk. So again, patients just need to advocate for their own health these days. Fantastic. Dr. King, for our viewers who'd like more information, where can they go? They can go to our website, which is immunoviainc.com. Immunoviainc.com. Yes, thank thanks you so much. much. Thanks so much for your time thank you. and thank you. good luck to you. Thank you very much. And of course, if you'd like more information on anything that you heard here today, go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.